Hello, and welcome to Steph Ludol. I am, unable to think of a fitting adverb this time, Steph. July is Disability Pride Month. Personally, I am autistic, and I have clinical depression and an anxiety disorder. My partner Michael has a degenerative spinal condition, which causes him to have severe chronic pain. This doll was originally going to be my June Pride Month doll, because disability is something often overlooked in LGBTQ plus spaces but I ended up deciding to make my trans pride bun instead as a little bit of a simpler project. She will, however, be perfect for disability pride month. This time I'll be customizing the Tokyo 2020 softball Barbie, whose accessories I stole from my white quitter doll a while back, alongside this Barbie wheelchair. I'm going to start with the wheelchair for now as I only want to make one change. I'd like to cover up the Barbie logo. So I cut a piece of craft foam down to size and use hot glue to attach it to the back. Then I paint it black with acrylic paint. I want to recreate the disability pride flag, so I use some thin washi tape to mark out the stripes and color them in with Posca pens. The red stripe represents physical disabilities, the gold stripe is for neurodivergence, the white stripe is for invisible and undiagnosed disabilities, the blue stripe for psychiatric disabilities, and the green stripe is for sensory disabilities. Once I'm happy with the paint job, I seal everything in with a coat of matte Mod Podge. Back to the doll herself. As is the usual way of things, I heat up the head with my hairdryer to make it squishy and easier to remove. I remove her factory paint with acetone. I decided to keep her hair this time, so in lieu of chopping it all off, I washed and conditioned it off camera. I'll be giving her a haircut later. I let her hair air dry overnight before bundling it up and covering it with a cloth. I give her two sprays of Mr. Super Clear UV Cut Flat, waiting 30 minutes in between each layer. And then I got to work on the face up. I always start by sketching out the eye shape with watercolor pencil, usually in a shade slightly darker than the skin tone. I fill in the eyes with an ivory pencil, and use pastels to add blushing and dimension to the face. When I want to save my progress or I can't build any more color, I spray on another coat of MSC. I keep working layer by layer, mainly with the pencils, before moving on to picking the pigment up from the pencils with a brush, and later using some Posca pens and acrylic paint.
I feel like for me that this face up really didn't come together until the end. I didn't really have a plan other than wanting to give her hazel eyes, so I just kind of went where the mold took me this time. And sometimes it works out, which I think it eventually did here. I also of course added some Perlex powder, blue russet on the lips and cheeks, and a dusting of sparkle gold all over. After adding catch lights and a bit more sparkle, the face up is done. Since it's summertime, I made her a cute little orange romper using a pattern from Rec William Art Designs. I'll also be giving her these white sneakers and this white hip pouch. I blushed her body off camera. So here's what it looks like fully dressed. In addition to the wheelchair, I really wanted to give her a cane. I'll be using a bamboo skewer as a base. I measure out and cut a piece to her hip height and another shorter piece for the handle. I use hot glue to attach them together, adding wire for extra strength. And then I sculpt the handle and the foot with epoxy sculpt.
After curing, I painted the cane with acrylic paint and added a floral pattern using Posca pens. Many wheelchair users are ambulatory, meaning they are capable of walking some of the time depending on the circumstances. This may only be for short times or for limited distances, and they may use another form of mobility aid, such as a cane, crutches, or even a walker. I sealed the handle and the foot with matte Mod Podge and added gloss varnish to the rest of the cane for a nice shine. I used my hair dryer again to heat up the head so I can get it back on the body. Time for a haircut! I wasn't originally planning to cut her hair this short, but I really loved it for her. I ended up taming it with some hairspray and a little heat, and thankfully, none of the hair melted, so good for me. So now we have our doll, her cane, and her wheelchair all done and ready to go. I couldn't think of a name for her for a while, but then Nina came to mind. Probably because I thought of Nina Tame, who I follow over on Instagram. The haircut may have had something to do with it too. But I think it really suits her. What do you think of Nina? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, this month marks the two year anniversary of my YouTube channel. Thank you all so much for being here. It really means so much to me that you enjoy my work and my videos. Are there any specific doll customs you'd like to see from me in the future? I'd love to see your suggestions. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more from me, and click the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. All of my socials will be linked down in the description below, and I'm most active over on Instagram stories, so follow me over there if you want to see what I'm up to. And if you really like what I do, and you want to buy me a coffee, my Ko-fi link is down there too. And until next time, bye!